Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of representing an unknown quantity. This is standard 4.5a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 22 off the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So a cashier worked six hours each day for eight hours, and the cashier, uh, for six hours each day for eight days, excuse me, and then the cashier was paid $10 for each hour. So what is going to represent T, the total number amount that the cash was paid for the hours worked? All right, so you notice that we've got all of our answers here, and it just equals T for total. So we're going to open up the graph draw feature, expand it out. So really, we're just looking for an equation. Let's use draw here. And we just need to figure out, we got three different numbers. What do we do with these numbers? Do we need all of these numbers? Because as you can tell, A and D don't have all three numbers. So we either need two or three of the numbers. And then are we adding, we're multiplying, or we're doing both? Let's see. OK, six hours each day for eight days. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw, let's just draw eight boxes. Each of these boxes are going to represent a day. Okay. So day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, day eight. When in doubt, draw a picture. Six hours each day. All right. So I'm going to just put a six inside each of these. So six, eight different times. So I've got six hours each day. So if I wanted to so far, right, I've got, um, you know, eight sets of six. If I wanted, if it just stopped right there, but it doesn't. Now, the cashier was paid 10 bucks for each hour. Okay, so I've got another each. And these each, see these eaches? These eaches are a really strong indicator that most likely it's going to be multiplication, okay? Because we're talking about equal groups. Equal groups each that lets us know multiplication or division. So each of these sixes needs 10, okay? So what if I were to do this? What if I were instead of these sixes, right? If I were just to, let's make it green right and if i were to put ten dollars for each of these right so i'm just going to put like 10 10 10 10 10 10 so there we go so i've got six sets of 10 uh, because it's ten dollars for each hour and so i could do that for all of these right and then so on and so forth I've got six sets of 10. So how much money do we have a day, right? So I've got 60 bucks each day, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then I just need to multiply that times my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So I could do my 60 times eight, but that's not one of, that's not one of my answer choices. And there's also another way that I actually got that problem. So that is a shortcut I actually combined it a little bit so what do I need to do in order to, to get it well let's go back to what we had already eight times six because I do have eight sets of six how did I get my 60 well my 60 actually what I did was I looked inside and I saw okay so there's six sets of ten guess what this six is the same as this six okay so what we could do is, and we'll just continue this out here and here. So what if we combine those two? What if I did eight sets of six gets me 48, and I multiplied that by 10 to get me at 10 bucks per hour. That's going to get me my 480, which is actually what this is right here. That's 48 with a zero. So that is going to be my answer. B.